Yo guys, before we get into this video, I just want to talk to you quickly about foottrading.co.uk to the over 100 of you now that have subscribed over there. Thank you very much for support. It means the world. Um, essentially, this is a website that we pulled together, myself and Dan, aka V273. We brought our market knowledge into one place where you guys can get access to trading guides and all that good stuff. There are free trading guides. I know I've said this before, but for those of you who are new around here, free trading guides there where you can learn to trade with special cards, silvers and icons. Essentially, the three best ways to trade this year, in my opinion. If you subscribe for £10 a month, you get access to spreadsheets, which give you buying prices and selling prices, full of special cards, four icons and silver cards. We've got guys on my Discord who have made two and a half million pounds, million coins, two and a half million pounds, I wish, two and a half million coins this week. Uh, if you pay £15 a month, you get access to live deals, which starts on Friday. We'll be posting some of the best deals that we find on the market. New stuff being added to that as well, including sort of tips and tricks and little bits of extra stuff that you guys will get to make even more coins. Again, £10 a month for Tier 1, uh, £50 a month for Tier 2. But for now, let's get into this video. Yo, what is up, guys? Welcome to a new video with me, Fossible 40 As always, if you are new around here, please do subscribe down below. Click the like button, all that good stuff. It is massively appreciated and you've heard it all before. Um, but this is episode 4 of the League SBC Method to Glory and it is the best episode yet. We got some absolute bangers from packs that are really going to help to drive this on now. And we're close to competing a couple of the SBCs now, which is very, very nice. Uh, make sure you stick around to see who we packed. It was absolutely brilliant. But this episode, we're going to go into a little bit more detail on the silver side of things. Um, if you haven't checked out this morning's video, the Foot Birthday Investment video, that has the silver filters you need to learn to invest in silver cards and make profit. That profit can then be done or used to invest in this this method and pretty much make it make it free when it is free. Um, not difficult at all, I promise you. So make sure you check out that video after this one. But yeah, essentially this video, I recorded the intro for it yesterday and then it all popped off, popped off this morning after rewards and then some of the, the packs we did from the league SBCs. So yeah, I thought I'd re-record it to make that point clear. But this episode, I wanted to go over the details about silver in terms of how we talk about profit. Now, profit in, in the, the sort of general sense on FIFA means you buy a card, you make profit, your coin total goes up. But in league SBC method, it's different. When we talk about profit, what we're talking about is our spend versus what we get back in terms of players that go into League SBC. So in the short term, you'll see your coin total come down, which is why I say to you guys, trade, use your profit from the trades, and then that way you're not seeing that sort of it, it come down a lot or whatever. Um, but in the long term, you do tend to see profit, and that's what we're now starting to see. But the players we're picking up, the packs we're getting, and the fact we're not having to buy players, etc., as we get open up these packs bit by bit. And it's all about the law of probability as well, because eventually you are going, the more packs you open, you're eventually going to hit that big player, which is what I finally done. You're going to hit that big player, you're going to make the, the profit. But in terms of sort of bronzes and silvers, so the way that we work out profit, we look at bronzes and we go, okay, cool, I spent 50,000 coins on bronze packs. What I, again, I'll talk to you a bit more about in detail, but I suggest you keep a track of what you're spending. And then you go, okay, cool, I've, I've sold X amount from those bronze packs, and so now I need to make X amount in silvers and golds to break even, basically, or make profit on that. And I'm going to explain to you a bit more when we look at my club later on, exactly how we work that out, what we do with that, and then you guys can get a better grasp of what's in your club and your better grasp of what's going in and what's coming out of your club. Uh, but for now, you're going to see me, what I did essentially was convert bronze players into silvers and the silver packs. You're going to see the silver packs and what we got from those silver packs. Um, and then from there, we're going to talk about the club and we'll open up some packs. It's a pretty simplistic episode. It's more about you guys seeing the League SPC grind really paying off. So without further ado, we will get into it. I will see you soon. Yo guys, so I've gone and converted the bronzes now into silvers. Uh, boosted eight, thank you for the follow. Um, I was not planning on opening until after the stream. However, EA have decided to pop up with absolutely no content. The whole world is on lockdown. EA aren't on lockdown for reference. They managed... Wait guys, wait. Just, 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 just bear me a second. We managed to, they managed to code promo packs, but couldn't code an SPC. Go figure. Um, but yeah, either way, so I'm going to be opening up these silver packs on stream and continuing that so we've got some sort of content. If he ain't going to give us some, we'll make our own. Um, but yeah, if I get anything decent from these silver packs, I will show you. The total spend on this set of bronze packs was about 50,000 coins. So I'm looking to get, I think, about 30,000 more back once I factor in what I sold the bronze players for. So 30,000 coins, well, 30,000 coins worth of silvers is what I'm after, realistically, to sort of make sure I'm breaking even. But also after that, I want to show you guys at the club to show you the untradeable players we've got in the club and the, the profit we've been making from those sort of cards. So I'm going to get these open. If I get anything good, I will come back to you. But for now, I will see you in probably what's going to be about two seconds with hopefully some decent cards. I will see you then. Come on, second pack in. Packed a really decent uh, centre back from the Copa Libertadores um, sort of SBC that's going to be needed for it. 3,000 coins on him straight away. It's a very, very nice start to open up these packs. 
Um, the other guy I've got here is about a thousand coins, I think. So when you're looking at this and thinking, okay, cool, I put fifty thousand uh, coins worth of of like bronze packs into my club. I've got about twenty k give or take back from those bronze packs. However, now I'm looking at already picking up sort of four k from these guys here. That's when you're starting to see what I what, the way I talk about profit. That's what I'm talking about when it comes down to profit. It's the, the money I'm not going to have to spend now on doing these SBCs to ideally pack something back big later on in the game. So I might, I might see the actual coins back in my club at a later date, but I'm not having to spend 4,000 coins on using these guys in an SBC. So that's how it works out. I'll be back in a minute if I get you any... If I, if I get you? If I get any more good silver cards. Yo, lads, so we just picked up this Pizzella. He is the left back from Palmer. Again, this not massive. We've been getting a lot of guys that are worth like 1,000, 1,500 coins for the league SBCs, which is still fine. No real big hit so far. But uh, 2,200 coins is what he is currently going for, which is a nice pickup. I'm very, very happy with that. Again, I'll come back to you guys if we pick up anything else of decent value. Um, and then we'll be going through the club and I'll start explaining to you about how the actual profitability can be worked out and, and where we're at in terms of the, the, the sort of players that I need to be getting and the clubs that I'm ready to complete. I will see you in a second. Yo, guys, so it's the next morning now. And if you're wondering why you didn't see any more silver players after that sort of batch that I was showing you, it's because there was nothing worth showing you. You guys who watch my videos know I don't like to sit here and pretend that um, I, can, I don't falsify anything. If I make a loss, I tell you I made a loss. If something doesn't go well, I say it doesn't go well. It's not that necessarily it didn't go well, the silver cards, but I got quite a few of the normal sort of standard League SBC cards, just cards that are League SBC silvers. But in terms of big value cards, there were very, very few. The ones I showed you basically was pretty much it. A couple of like 1,500, 2,000 coin cards, but legitimately nothing worth writing home about at all. So, um, yeah, not the best, not going to lie, not the best for the silvers that we got there from 53 packs. I'd say at least half were non-league SPC, at least, if not more, honestly, probably. So that's fine. They'll go into gold upgrades, though. Um, and then the other ones that were league SPCs will be used, but it really wasn't, wasn't at all good. What I want to do now, quickly, um, I didn't do foot champions last week because it's just not worth it, in my opinion. But I did division rivals. We, taken, we are taking untradeable rewards. This is what I said to you guys before about taking untradeable rewards. So you get six mega packs and two jumbo premium gold packs. Normally I'd be, I wouldn't have bothered to get rank two and stuff like that. I would have tried to do something different, but I don't mind getting loads and loads of players. All I really want at the moment is loads and loads of players to continue stocking up the club. So we'll get these packs open. We'll probably get nothing from them. Again, normally I might wait until foot birthday tomorrow to open them up, but because I'm taking untradeable rewards anyway, it doesn't really matter because most of those foot birthday cards probably won't get into my team when all is said and done. Um, depending on what we get, to be fair, though, though, it does depend on what we get. But um. Let me just clear out all this stuff here. But this is why I say, again, this can help get you... Look at all, these, all those players there that are League SBC players. Um, these guys here, if they're tradable, would be nice to sell. That's not. He's not. So those two can go down. Is Johnny tradable? Nope. Uh, Boone, are you tradable? <laughs> nope. So none of those are tradable. They can all just go and, and leave the club. It's fine. Again, I could, I could be sitting here and I would advise, if you're sitting here and that happens, I would try and do... A upgrade pack just to put them in there but for the purposes of this video I'm not going to bother too much I have been hard grinding it um, if you guys haven't done it yet check out this morning's video by the way it will give you all the filters you could possibly need for all the silver cards for tonight's investing because uh, that's what we're gonna be doing tonight I'm gonna go over that in more detail for you in a second I get the backbone I never use backbones uh, Lucas Vasquez are you tradable nope cool where's that going to club but in terms of those cards there again look a lot of those League SBC cards League SBC League SBC uh, League SBC, non-League SBC, non-League SBC, and League SBC. Arsenal being refilled again after just losing the uh, Arsenal ones. But six mega packs. Again, it'd be nice to pick up an 85, and 86, something that can go towards the icon. But mega packs aren't the best packs in the world. It is a board or a walkout at least, which is something. Um, it's just a board. Where is it? If you see Argentinian, you're like, uh, striker. Actually, who is that? Is that Lotto Martinez? Take an 84. It's untradeable. Sits in the club again, can be used um, for an... SBC at some point, at some stage. But again, loads more League SBC cards here, which is very, very nice. We'll get rid of all this crap here. I don't keep all these contracts that are untradeable. They just clog up my club. Um, CM to CDM is quite nice. Nice thousand coins. We'll get rid of all this stuff here. Now, is Rongier or Linetti? Are you of these tradable? Rongier is. Linetti, are you tradable? No, you're not. So we'll do that. Send up the rest of the club. Five packs left. The Mega Packs. Again, the good thing about these mega packs is purely based on the fact that they're going to, in terms of stocking the club up, they're going to continue to do so. Another border walker, that's very, very nice. And it is another inform. So again, this inform, if it's a half decent rated one, can be used in the, what is it, the 85 squads they've got. The Is it Rufinus Mori? No, 81. Do I want to use an 81 and 85 squad? Probably not. 
but they can be used if I want to. I can use them in that in the 85 spectrum. But there's the James Rodriguez. So that's nice. At the moment, Rodriguez has a, has a value of about 8k, I think, with the uh, SBC. So he can go straight into the league SBC. Not league SBC. He can go straight into the icon SBC, which is solid as anything. Again, more league SBC cards. Balotelli there. Let's clear out all this stuff here. Is Balotelli tradable? He is indeed. Hasebi, are you tradable? You are indeed. Mario Rui, are you tradable? Nice. That's quite good. Quite a few there that are tradable. Um, Salcedo will go down there because he doesn't sell for anything because he's non-league SBC. More Mega Packs. Keep opening them up. And then once we've done the Mega Packs, I'm going to explain to you how to keep a track of everything in your club as, as and when you get it, basically. See if there's anything here. Maguire, Mixler. Decent cards in there. Uh, Freiburg is one of the ones I think I need to do still, so another Freiburg player is very, very nice. Uh, we'll get rid of all the stuff here. Essa, you tradable. I know you don't sell those, so you can go like that. How many packs we got left? We have three mega packs left, just to continue again. And this is this is the only reason why I say take untradable rewards if you're league SBC grinding because you can just stock your club up with so many players for league SBC clubs. It makes things far far easier for you in the long term. Again, a lot of league SBC players there. West Ham. I think I'm I think I'm ready to do West Ham once it comes back round again. Um, I'm munching glad back. I've just done them, but I've picked up a lot of their cards recently. So it'd be nice to see if we can get anything from there. Tony Villa. We got there as well, and then we'll get rid of these two things here. I'm not too stressed about whether they are tradable or not. Last two mega packs again, not been the best, not been terrible, but this is why I don't really tend to do foot champs anymore. The rewards just aren't worth it. I've got gold ones so many times, I've got absolutely nothing from them. Um, this is a walkout, a walkout in form. Spanish goalkeeper, what rating is this guy? Is it Pepe Reina? He's 84, isn't he? He's 84, 85. 84, perfect. So he is perfect for the 85 pack. He's absolutely perfect for that. He's Premier League. He's Spanish. He links to a lot of the cards you're going to use as fodder. And a Paul Pogba. He's never getting in my team. I've got to be honest with you. I can't stand this card this year. It's awful. It's not a good card. But again, as a 100,000 coin player. So we'll take a Paul Pogba. Massive, massive pull there. Um, MRA7, thank you for the follow over on Twitch. Uh, but we're going to stick him. He will go into the 88 rated squad because he won't be playing in my team. Uh, but we'll take that all day long. Very, very nice mega pack. Uh, much better than what I've been getting recently. And again, the untradable grind pays off. Let's put this up there. Zay Louise, I don't think he's tradable. No, McKenny, I think I just got you, didn't I? In a pack, yeah. And Priyovic, you're not tradable either. But that's nice. That's really, really nice. Paul Pogba's a very, very good pull. One of the best ones we've had so far since we've done this league SBC grind. Let's see if we can get anything else in this final mega pack. It is a board of a walkout again. Just a board. Again, hopefully you're looking for an 85 here. It's going to be Kramerich, watch. It's going to be Kramerich. And <laughs> I just knew it. You just knew it would be Kravich every time you see Croatian. Um, but that is the rewards. Very, very nice pulls. An 85, a good inform. An 88 in Pogba. Very, very happy with that. Um, I'm going to be back in a second. And we're going to start going over what we've got in the club. And how you guys need to start working out your profits, etc. And working out where your club is at. I will see you in two seconds. Yo, guys. So, obviously, like I said, in the last episode, we looked at the bronze packs and how you're selling them, etc. But what you want to do now is put your knowledge together of both of these things. So... When you're doing bronze packs, it's good. It's a good idea to keep an eye on the, on the amount you're spending. So let's say theoretically you are looking to aim to spend about, I don't know, 50,000 50, coins. But even if you say 40,000 coins, make it easier for yourself, which is 100 packs. Um, but what you want to do is work out your spending and then try and keep an eye as much as possible on what you've made back from selling stuff in those bronze packs. And the stuff that, like I say, you sell before in those bronze packs, I've said it a million one times now, but Shamrock Rovers players are... Massively like expensive at the moment. Rare Irish and Northern Irish players are expensive. And random managers and certain players that just have a value. For me, on this last set round, I spent about 45, 50k. I made about 20, 25 back from the bronze packs. So I needed to make 20, 25 back from the silver players in order to have broken even on my actual investment. I probably did just about that. This wasn't the best round I've ever had of, of doing it. But again, you win some, you lose some. But what it's worth doing in your club is keep an eye on, on the value of cards. So, for example, this Kieran Clark, I've just gone and had a look. Um, not Kieran Clark, this is uh, Leon Clark. He is 7,500 coins on Xbox at the moment. So, when I get him out of a pack, because he's untradable here, I know that he's worth 7,500 coins. So, if I've spent 50,000 on bronze packs, I've got, let's say, 20,000 back, for argument's sake, from my bronze packs in terms of what I sell. I've got 30k that I need to make back. Straight away here, I've got a Leon Clark, which is worth 7.5k of that, which is really, really nice. There's Valerie, for example. I think he's, at the moment, he's about 1,500 coins. So, again, that makes 9,000. 
And this is why I think spreadsheets are such an effective method for you guys to be looking at. Because what you want to be doing is I would have a daily daily guide in the spreadsheet, right? And I would have coins spent on bonds packs. And all the way you can work that out accurately is just by doing a tick every time, like a line on a piece of paper every time you've done a bonds pack. So let's say you've opened up 70 of them, you know to time 70 by 400 and that gives you your spend, which is 2,800 if I'm not mistaken. Uh, 28,000, sorry. Uh, 28,000 if I'm not mistaken. But um, you'll know how much you've spent. Then once you've sold your bond stuff from that, add that all up and it might come to, I don't know, 14,000 based upon that sort of drop. I don't know exactly how much it would be, but let's say it's that. So you're then looking to make 14,000 back from your silvers and your golds. Now, golds have a general value, non rares that for League SBTs are 600 to 1,000 coins, depending on the card. Some are more, some are slightly less. But I would set mine at about 600, 700 coins. Um, but it's what you go for your club. Gabriel Martinelli, I know at the moment he's about 1,500 coins on Xbox. Uh, Tengan, I don't know who, how much he is, but... And then what you want to do is just keep flicking through. So, for example, the other, other day we saw in the Bundesliga, I picked up this club, Naki. Now, I know at the moment he's 8,000 coins on Xbox. Um, this gets Jasula, for example. He's actually tradable because we picked him up from a pack. Um, at the moment, he is sat at 12,000 coins. At the moment, is what he is. So, I'm looking at that. I'm going, okay, cool. And it, it's, a be, it's the best way to keep an eye on exactly what you're bringing in from those packs. But also remember, in the Bonds pack, sometimes you get players that are of a high value. I picked up a couple of Union Berlin players, which have got three or 4,000 coins worth of value. I've also got a couple of players from the Saudi League, a striker from one of the clubs in the Saudi League, which is 9,000 coins. And you start to see exactly where your spend is going and how you're working out what we call profit. And now profit isn't necessarily cash in the bank for you guys. I think some of you think that your coins, coin total is going to go up from this method. Realistically, this method is about making your coin total stay the same. As much as possible, stay the same. But there is going to be an initial spend as you're building this up. As you're building your club up as much as possible... There's going to be an initial spend, and that's just where just the way it goes in terms of the fact that you're seeing the value back later on when you're opening up packs. And now, if that Pogba was tradable, for example, I could sell him. I'm not going to be selling this Pogba. I'm going to be using him, but because um, he's untradable. But you could be selling that Pogba. One thing that I did think about the other day, because of the 88 rated players in this league SPC, I'm actually going to be selling these 84s that I picked up. I picked up all three of these as well, right? These all have all been picked up. I don't know what Douglas Costa is at the moment. I think he's about. About 7k, give or take. Now, I'm probably going to sell these 84s. Maybe not right now, but if we get a, an SBC that requires fodder, um, I'm going to sell these guys because I'm getting a lot of 84 cars and I need 85s anyway for, for the uh, Icon SBC. But I'm probably going to go and sell those guys because if I sell, let's say I sell Boateng, Costa, Mares, and Rutinio for a combined amount of, I don't know, 30,000 coins, that's near enough a whole free round of those bonds packs. And so for me, I've, I've completely changed my mindset in terms of the way I'm going to be doing it. I'm going to be selling my 84s that I get that aren't untradable anyway. The untradable ones will stay but because I've got no choice. <laughs> the untradable ones, I've got no choice. But these ones here will be sold because they will then allow me to buy more bronze packs. Um, but yeah, that's essentially how you're working out what we deem to be profit. It's the coins you're not spending on other packs. It's not necessarily coins in the bank. That, that will come later on. What I'm going to go and do now is see if I've got any of the teams done. Those teams, I will then show you which, which teams we have done. And I will open those packs up for you guys. And then tonight, I cannot stress this enough. If you are looking to buy two, three, four players that are silver, even for expensive teams, tonight is your play. Because tonight, if you haven't seen the video yet, go back and watch it from this morning. Tonight, silver's crashing price with marquee matchups being released. And that is your opportunity to buy Padawan players, uh, Union Billing players, anyone that's going to be come down massively in value to allow you to then get those done, which helps to recycle the league again and get back to the best packs, which is what I want to do ready for foot birthday. So because of Pogba saving me 100k, because of Rodriguez and stuff like that, I'm willing to spend maybe 50, 100k on buying into some silvers tonight that I'm then going to put into the SBC, re-flip re that round and then get the whole thing able to be done again, get back into doing uh, Dusseldorf and all those sort of teams that I want to do. I'm going to go now, check out the uh, club and see what I've got and see if I've got any teams that are done. Um, for, again, for me, it'll probably be about an hour. For you guys, it's going to be two seconds. I will see you. All right, guys. So we've gone and done even more of the of the teams. Again, this is we've got to that stage now where things start to snowball and players get picked up by like I open packs, players get picked up. I put those in, then they get refreshed relatively quickly. Um, so a lot of the teams in certain leagues are ready to be done again. Uh, but at the moment, we've gone and done the Bundesliga. We did. I've got a pen and paper because I am a bit of a boomer. Um, we have Leverkusen, Freiburg, and Wolfsburg that were done. And in Liga, we have Nantes, Bordeaux, Montpellier, Marseille, and Toulouse that were done. Bundesliga now, I've only got Paderborn, Union Berlin, and Bayern to do. Bayern's relatively nearly near enough there. I'm just refusing to do it unless until I get seven players. I think I've got six at the moment. Union Berlin and Paderborn, the chances are, because of how well my sales have gone 
in terms of transfers and whatnot this week. I'm probably going to just try and buy those tonight relatively cheaply when the silver's crashing price. Um, especially Paderborn because they're very hard to pack because they're so expensive. Um, so I did it. I want to try and get the Bundesliga done tonight so that once the Bundesliga is done, I've then got all those teams in there that need to be refreshed for packs to open for foot birthday, which should be brilliant. Uh, but Ligue 1, the other teams have all got sort of three, four, five in them, so they're not really close to yet. We're going to get these packs opened up. Um, again, some also, some decent packs in here, some, some standard packs. These, again, I always maintain this, you guys, never overlook the prime silver packs, the silver packs. They are your, your bread and butter when it comes to this method because they put your club, they fill your club up with those silver players that can be expensive or that you just don't really want to go out and buy. Um, and that's a really good pull straight away. Sheffield United player, very, very happy with that. And a Paderborn player, we move. This is a, what, 13,000 coin player at the moment. So that's absolutely sensational. That is Paderborn, I'm at six now, I think, which is brilliant. Uh, O'Connell's not overly expensive. He used to be a lot more expensive than he is right now, actually. I'm turning a lie, he's gone up in price again. He's at 5,000 coins. So 18,000 coins worth of player from that pack. Uh, we've got a Turkish player and this guy, this uh, Yeni, they're nearly done. Uh, MLS player, another MLS player, Turkish league player. Very, very nice indeed. That is a super pack. Um, let's go with the Jumbo Premium Gold Pack. So another pad of one pack. I've got most of them midfield done now, which is absolutely sensational. It's just the strikers, which can be a bit funny. This is a board or a walkout. Just a board. This has been a good episode. We picked up Pogba, we picked up two informs. Uh, striker, I picked up another Lautaro Martinez. I've got one untradeable, this one can go on to the transfer pile. Uh, we picked up James Rodriguez. And obviously we picked up the pad of one players now, which is very, very nice. Again, refreshing the clubs up. A lot of players there. I've, I've just done Wolfsburg, I swear. Yeah, so Wolfsburg now got their course back in it again, which is very, very nice. Uh, some of those so single player fitnesses, if you want to sell them, you can. There isn't really a, uh, a need to hold on to them, but for, like you can send for 200 each. I'm just doing that with the bronzes at the moment. It's too much effort to do it with bronzes and golds. Um, we've got premium gold player pack, electron players pack. Again, don't overlook these packs. They are the silvers, as you've just seen. The meat and drink is what you want to get from this, basically. This is a board. How the hell have I got a board from this pack? It's a walkout. Let's go. Belgian. Left wing is a hazard. Let's go. The first big pull. Let's go. And here is where I told you guys. You get that one big pull and you see the profit. Eden Hazard, 91 rated. He will be sold. He will not go into the FBC. But Eden Hazard, that is absolutely sensational. 100,000 coins. That is what I'm talking about. He can go up to transfer pile. What an episode this has been. Massive, massive pulls all the way through. Another Mines player there. And again, we refresh the Marseille that we've just done. That is Brit from an election pack, lads. And this is what I say. Don't overlook these packs. You might be like, oh, it's just an election pack. There you go. Eden Hazard, left wing, 100,000 coins. That means my next two sets of bronze packs are completely and utterly free. Easy, easy dubs. Easy, easy dubs. Uh, anything here that's decent. Uh, Centurion, I know, sells for a little bit, but not masses. Uh, he's like a thousand coins. We'll put him up on a transfer pile. We'll put Ben Davis up there. The rest of them, not too bad. Again, a fair few league SPC cards there. Send that all to club. So we've got premium gold, mixed players, mixed players, premium mixed players. So we'll do the mixed players first, then the premium mixed players and the premium gold player pack. But that is sensational. Aiden Hazard on the league SPC grind. It's another board or a walkout. Got to be another walkout. Ah, it's just a board. Can't complain too much, though. Cannot complain too much. Brazilian. Is that the mid? Is this Allen? No, Arthur. I'll take Arthur, though. I will definitely take an Arthur. 84 rated. Again, he will be sold. Uh, the 84s will be sold to allow me to open up more bronze packs. But this has been a very, very good episode so far. Nothing of major value in the rest of the pack, realistically. Um, I've just done Freiburg, so that's replacing him. Uh, Los, San Dos Santos, even. Los Santos, I'm thinking it's GTA. Dos Santos can go up there. Mixed players pack. What a pull that is. Very, very happy. The grind is paying off hardcore at the moment, lads. It is paying off. Right, anything from this pack? Again, we're looking for silvers really here. Uh, Kassim Passo, I need to do, so he's, that's not bad at all. Bernardo sells for a little bit. We'll put all these up there. Is this the guy that's expensive? Or is he, no, he's a cheap one. There's one guy from that team that's extraordinarily expensive. I can't remember his name. Uh, right, so premium mixed and then premium gold. We'll probably get nothing from these. I cannot complain. I've just picked up a hazard. I'm very, very happy with that. Again, nothing from this one. It's again, probably going to be another combo ball card with that, um, with that door. I'm pretty sure we'll see a combo ball card in here. Yeah, we did. Uh, Xavi Hernandez for Real Madrid. That is a very nice pull. Again, I need to do Real Madrid, so that's very, very nice. The uh, rest of that's pretty average at best. There's not a huge amount there. Lalana can go up there. Or Zuzu can go up there. We'll get that sold. And final pack, premium gold players pack. It will be nothing in this. These packs aren't the best. 
Although in the election pack, I just picked up Hazard, so I cannot be too annoyed. Uh, but in this one, we get absolutely nothing. But lads, I'm going to leave the video there. Uh, we've got lots more leagues that need to be completing, so you'll see that in the next episode. Uh, make sure you smash a like on this video. And as always, if you want to watch me do this live, click the link, come, o uh, come over to Twitch. We'll be doing silver trading tonight. You guys can learn how to silver trade. That will literally pay your way for these bonds packs every week if you start getting that right. Uh, but for now, lads, I am out. Peace out. I will speak to you soon.